everyone. In this video, we're going to be discussing a short run market equilibrium. And this construct of equilibrium is essentially uh, your high school level economics. So how do we form short run market equilibrium? Well, it's, it's with regards to how market forces interact. So in market, the market forces that are there in the market we manifest that through two things, which are, uh, it's manifested through aggregate demand or the market demand, so aggregate demand. And uh, we also have, okay, aggregate supply. So those two things, okay, determine, okay, uh, your market equilibrium and it will determine the market price and the market quantity sold by all firms. Now, remember when we started dealing with the assumptions of perfect competition, we said that no individual firm or a consumer had the power to be able to influence the price. And that's uh, entirely because it takes the aggregate of all consumers and all firms to determine the market's price and the market quantity that will be sold. Okay, so in general, okay, in general, in general, okay, the slope, okay, the slope of your market demand curve, demand curve is negative, okay, is negative. So that's essentially partial of your market demand function with respect to P, that's negative. And again, that's why it's like that is quite simple is because there's a negative relationship between quantity demanded and the price of a good so if the price of a good goes up you're more likely to not buy more of the good while uh while the market supply function okay again short run so the short run market supply function function okay uh or supply curve rather that's uh that's the partial of qs with respect to p that's generally positive okay because a firm is willing to supply more if the price is higher and what we find is that the equilibrium price and quantity combination must satisfy both okay the market demand and the market supply functions and since the good that we have in this perfectly competitive market, again, is homogeneous, only one market price will prevail. Okay, so it means that at equilibrium, at equilibrium, okay, QD or your market demand must equal QS or your market supply. Okay, so your market demand must be equal to your market supply. And it can be solved... Uh, what we can do is we can solve uh, for P. So when we get this one, we know that this is some function. Okay, so that's Q, D, P. This is some function of prices. So a consumer's demand is a function of prices and so is uh, the supply. So some function of prices. And we can get okay, equilibrium quantities and equilibrium prices eventually using this relationship. So... To illustrate that, let's have an example. And if you took high school econ, this should be very familiar to you. Okay, so say you were given with a market demand function given as negative uh, fifty p plus two fifty demand. Okay, then this is of course your market supply function, which is uh one hundred over three times p. Okay, so. Uh, again, condition for short-run equilibrium, QDP, should be equal to QD, uh, QSP as a function of P. So that's just negative 50P plus 250 should be equal to 100 over 3 times P. Okay, and what we can do is we can solve for P and we get PE or equilibrium price and that will be 3. Okay, that will be three. And what you can do is to get equilibrium quantity, you can just plug it into either uh, market demand or market supply. So say we plugged it into QD, 
So that's going to be negative 50 times 3 plus 250. This is going to be equal to 100. And you're going to see the same thing if we plugged it into QS. 100 over 3 times 3, that's just equal to 100. Because again, this condition here must be met. Okay, And graphically, we come back to our really basic supply and demand curve that we have. So we have um, P here and then Q here. Then you have your quantity demand function or your demand function, uh, demand curve rather. And then you have your supply function, QS. Then this is equilibrium point and at equilibrium point, you charge three. And the quantity uh, supplied and demanded is 100. So that is short run equilibrium.